Welcome back, everyone. Our weekend has almost come to a close, and earlier this evening, we had quite a busy night here at Storm Team 10. We had some warnings that came along with a very strong thunder shower that popped up just east of Vigo County into some of our counties moving into the eastern portion of the News 10 viewing area. Taking a look at our Storm Team 10 storm tracker right now, not a lot to see, not a lot to talk about. It's a nice quiet down after a busy evening this Father's Day. Now, what we did get after these showers and storms, take a look at this, was some localized flooding. This picture is from Wade Snotty in Brazil, and it looks like this is 40 through, through downtown Brazil, and you can see some of the water over the roadway right there. We had another one from Knightsville, Indiana, and you can see some localized flooding up over the road there. General rule of thumb, anytime you see something like this, Indiana State Police, local police, they'll tell you, turn around, don't drown. So anytime you see something like this, snap a picture, but go the other direction. Meantime, back in Terre Haute this evening, 70 degrees and no wind, so it turned out to be a quite all right night. Well, I'm thinking about it. It's been nice hanging around. Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames is expected to be back next weekend. Uh, Kevin Orpert was on vacation, which moved the schedules back a little bit. So Joseph filled in for Lindsay, and that's how I ended up here. But Joseph will be back, and I'm sure many of you are looking forward to seeing him. Across the Wabash Valley, lots of cool temperatures tonight. I was out over lunch break. It feels pretty good. 67 in Rockville, 71 in Paris, 73 in Robinson, 73 in Vincennes. The winds just not doing a whole lot of anything tonight. Vincent's picking up a breeze out of the south at five miles per hour. Everywhere else registering a zero right now. Clouds and radar kind of show our conditions clearing over the night. Maybe a few pop up light showers in the News 10 area. But other than that, we're going to clear out and just see partly cloudy skies through our overnight hours. That's good because it seems like every time I come, I bring the rain with me. And fortunately, it's finally moving out. So tonight, 11 o'clock, we run through our overnight hours. You see the partly cloudy skies begin to clear. And through our Monday, many of you will be getting up and heading for work. Uh, clear skies to start the day. We're going to see some sunshine tomorrow. 74 by 8 a.m. will heat up to about 85. Clear to partly cloudy skies. It's going to be a very nice day. Future cast then takes a look through our Monday. And into Tuesday is when we'll start to see our next chance for rain. 5 o'clock Monday afternoon. Still much of those partly clear skies. It's going to be nice. And then Tuesday, 4 a.m., uh, Futurecast is picking up a band of rain moving across parts of the Wabash Valley. Light shower at best. We're keeping rain in the forecast, though, because we see these indications on the Futurecast. Meantime, tonight, 71 showers and storms likely through the overnight. Just those pop-up showers and storms. Uh, tomorrow, we'll see a high of 89, partly cloudy with some gusty winds. And then tomorrow night, 71 clearing skies and gusty winds continue. As we take a look at our seven-day forecast, you can see these uh, chances for showers have dropped significantly with uh, upper 80s through parts of the week.